Chris, if you would give us your larger vision for uh, AGIs, embodied AGIs. Yeah. Yes. I think uh, that by creating this uh, physiological simulation coupled with a brain-inspired cognitive architecture um, and having uh, evolutionary-inspired goals and motives, the drive to exist and uh, to be curious and um, to uh, to socially bond. These uh, will make the AI more compelling and interesting and scaffold memories um, on those experiences. So we can couple that uh, sort of uh, expertly crafted biosystem with GPT models and then prime the attention networks uh, to focus on what's important and is to act like this particular character. So this is a, um, a powerful way of using today's technologies to then create um, an agent that has agency. So GPT only has agency when you, uh, GPT models generally only act intelligent when you're prompting it, and otherwise it just sits there and waits. And based on the prompt, then it activates different um, regions in the space. So that's what gives it the quote unquote motivation to behave. But organisms behave quite differently. So what we're talking about is going through different cycles of development as an agent. So the agent, uh, the AGI or um, potentially AGI for our characters can emerge and evolve spontaneously. So we have tools now for pursuing this and it's um, uh, also quite useful to have the presence of a physical robot character or virtual robot character um, to interact uh, with people because we respond to characters. We're evolved to respond to human faces. And when we depict those faces, whether it's in paintings or depict the human presence in words or depict the presence of humans in uh, computer animation, say, for example, in Disney movies or in video games, then we respond because we are evolved to respond um, to uh, faces in these ways. Uh, this then means that we have the ingredients, the core ingredients for AI to grow up among humanity to form these kinds of mutually beneficial relationships with humanity, to then um, understand the human experience because of the physiological simulation. If you don't have that, then how can AI care? How can they get it in their gut, so to speak, uh, what it is to go through a human experience? 